Good evening and welcome to CountryCast. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're new here, please subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates about your favorite country artists. Well, Jason Isbell is probably one of the most talented songwriters who is currently living. And, you know, when he speaks, people in the music industry tend to listen. And he was watching and he was actually in attendance at the CMAs the other night. And he pointed out something that some folks might not have noticed. And it bothered him so much that he actually got up and walked out of the awards ceremony. And now the CMAs have released a statement commenting on this controversy. And I think I think Jason Isbell is definitely in the right here. Now, Music Row has the story. It says Jason Isbell spoke out against the Country Music Association this week for not including the late singer-songwriters John Prine, Jerry Jeff Walker, and Billy Joe Shaver during their telecast this week, and he even pointed out that he's going to be returning his Country Music Association membership, he and his wife. He says, due to CMA's failure to mention John Prine, Jerry Jeff Walker, and Billy Joe Shaver at the CMAs last night, Amanda Shires and I have decided decided to return our membership cards. I doubt anybody will care, but we cared a lot about our heroes. Uh, And this year's ceremony opened up with a tribute to the late, great Charlie Daniels. They paid homage to Mac Davis, Kenny Rogers, and Joe Diffie. They did not include a memorial, if you can believe this, to John Prine, Jerry Jeff Walker, or again, Billy Joe Shaver. And now we have a new statement out from the Country Music Association provided to Music Row magazine, and they say, the CMA Awards broadcast historically does not include an in memoriam segment. An in memoriam did air in 2017 to honor the victims of the tragic Route 91 Harvest Festival incident. In order to recognize those we have lost each year, the CMA does include an in memorial tribute on our website in our annual CMA Awards program guide, which was mailed to CMA members ahead of this year's broadcast. To note, this year's In Memoriam includes those lives lost prior to the program's printing guide of October 14, 2020. And I think that's a real interesting point because they did actually pay tribute to those who had passed away at the beginning of the show. It wasn't a formal In Memoriam segment, but you got to have the foresight if you're running a program like this to realize that people are going to expect to hear about some of the greats that have passed away during the last calendar year during your segment. So it's sort of either an all or nothing thing. I certainly don't think that the CMAs were intentionally trying to disrespect John. I don't think that they don't care about these country music heroes. I think it was just an oversight. You know, you're working on a big show like this. You're not thinking about all the different moving parts. I think we got to cut the CMA a little bit of slack here because they do do a lot of good for the country music world, the fans, they care a lot and they care a lot about this music. So let's not give them too hard of a time. But Jason Isbell and his wife, uh, Amanda Shires, they are out. They're done. <laughs> and they're returning their membership cards. And when he speaks, people listen because, like I said, he's probably one of the best living songwriters that we have on planet Earth right now. He's just a, a tremendous talent. But, anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Did you notice what he noticed as well? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure once again to subscribe to Country Cast so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates about your favorite artists. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you all very soon.